My name is Noel Leader, General Manager of Longyear Australia Proprietary Limited. Longyear supplies diamond drilling equipment for minerals exploration throughout the world. And being also a keen amateur movie maker, I had my camera at work during a recent visit to Bougainville Island near New Guinea. Here, Konzink Rio Tito of Australia Limited is probing a huge copper ore body with a triple tube version of the world-renowned Longyear Q-series wireline core barrel. Freshly developed by Longyear to match the advanced diamond drilling requirements of CRA exploration at Bougainville, the new core barrel has been highly successful and its use is rapidly extending throughout the world. From CRA's head office in Melbourne, it's 2,200 miles to the territory of Papua and New Guinea, a group of large, mountainous, tropical islands gradually awakening from a leisurely and primitive past. Port Moresby Communications Centre for the Territory. A further 1,000 miles north through Ley and Rabaul is Bougainville, largest of the Solomon Islands. Bougainville is a primitive island of dense jungle and high, rugged mountains, including several active volcanoes. Tropical conditions of high temperature and humidity, daily torrential rainfall and problems of communication and access make mineral discovery and development a tough job. Success demands resolve, progressive planning and advanced technology. The largest active volcano on the island is Mount Bagana, 6,500 feet above sea level. Early exploratory drilling of the CRA copper ore body showed much of the ore to be highly fractured. Full core recovery, vital to precise assay results, was almost impossible by conventional drilling methods. Close study of the ore fracture characteristics to plan the best mining techniques demanded a full and undisturbed core from each borehole. With many holes to be drilled as rapidly as possible, the increased speed of wireline drilling was also essential. To meet these needs, the Longyear triple tube core barrel was developed. A micro-thin, high tensile split tube designed to nest inside the inner tube of a standard Longyear BQ core barrel, complete with special core lifter, diamond bit and reamer, gave an immediate conversion from standard BQ wireline to the new BQ TT version. Its success was complete and equally successful conversion kits have since been developed for each of the core barrel sizes in the full Longyear Q-series range used throughout the world. On the coast, northeast from the Crown Prince range is Kyoto, Bougainville's largest town. The nearby airstrip at Europa has become a centre for air traffic. Panguna, the site of the ore body 25 miles into the mountains, is reached by helicopter. constructed road from the coast to the Panguna Valley is a major engineering achievement and the wide experience of the Snowy Mountains Hydroelectric Authority was used in its construction. The road climbs the range to pass through a 3,700 foot high gap giving access to the valley containing the ore body. The helicopter approaches the Panguna base camp, sighted on the outskirts of the ore body, to land on a specially prepared pad. Sudden tropical downpours occur every day 
and transportation is difficult. Annual rainfall is over 200 inches. All men and materials were carried by helicopter before the road was completed, but a heavy load of BQ drill rod is now swiftly conveyed to a mountainside drill site. The track vehicles are well suited to the steep mountain roads cut into the side of the ore body. The area is covered with centuries of volcanic ash, which becomes deep mud in heavy rain. Drills tucked around the hillside show the intensity of the drilling program aimed at proving the ore body as quickly as possible. From the helicopter, an excellent view of the ore body is obtained. Shaped like a dumbbell, the two dome-shaped sections lie within the mountain peaks each side of the valley, while the thinner bridging piece crosses under the valley floor. Multicoloured tarpaulins shelter the drillers from both the daily downpour and the hot tropical sun. The drill at site number BVP90, high on the northwestern tip of the ore body, is drilling with the BQ triple tube core barrel at a depth of 1,630 feet down the hole. Let's have a look at the BQ triple tube at work. The driller has just completed a coring run and parts the drill rod string to retrieve the core 1,630 feet below. The overshot is passed down the hole under gravity, anchored to the trailing wire line cable which freely runs off the winch drum. It will retrieve the inner tube from the core barrel, leaving the drill string and outer tube of the barrel, complete with bit and reamer, down the hole, ready to resume drilling immediately a fresh inner tube is placed there. This cutaway section of a long year Q series core barrel shows the diamond set bit and reamer and the major components of the core barrel. First comes the core lifter case, plus core lifter which grasps the core when the inner tube is retrieved. Then the inner tube itself, shortened for this cutaway section, but normally 5, 10 or 15 feet long. The inner tube back end assembly is provided with special rubber shutoff valves to minimise damage to core if a core block occurs. These valves immediately shut off the circulating fluid, signalling that drilling should cease and core be recovered before proceeding. The latch retracting case and latch assembly securely lock the inner tube in place until the time comes to recover it, complete with the core it contains. This is done by lowering the overshot to couple with the spearhead inside the locking coupling. With remarkable efficiency, the overshot's lifting dogs lock onto the spear head and allow the inner tube to be retrieved from the core barrel. On the surface, the driller waits for it to emerge from the rod string. In practice, an empty inner tube is then sent down the hole to allow drilling to proceed. But for purposes of continuity in this film, the complete cycle of recovering the core from the inner tube is carried out in sequence. With the inner tube lying on the resting stand, the core lifter case is removed using long ear tight grip wrenches specially designed to separate the barrel components. When the back end is removed, the unique features of the triple tube barrel become more apparent. A sealing nut is first inserted in the pump out plunger to allow the core to be pumped out of the inner tube using a small hand-operated hydraulic pump. The triple tube itself is a split inner lining of micro-thin, high tensile, hard chrome steel, which allows the core to be contained intact, exactly as drilled, during pumping out from the barrel.
Once the split inner tube is removed, the split halves are parted to reveal a full core barrel of extraordinarily broken core, showing in finest detail the physical and chemical nature of the ore body below. The core is carefully transferred into the core box after examination by the geologist to ensure that maximum information is obtained. More detailed study will take place later in the assay office. is swiftly relocated within the inner tube, the plunger replaced, the back end greased and screwed into place. The core lifter is fitted, the stop ring placed in position, and the core lifter case screwed on to the end of the inner tube. Introduced into the rod string and allowed to fall freely under gravity, the inner tube will latch automatically within the core barrel outer tube 1,630 feet below. While the inner tube is travelling down, the rods are coupled up and soon the pump gauge shows a quick rise in pressure, indicating that the inner tube has firmly latched into position within the core barrel itself. Immediately, drilling is resumed, with the assurance that once again a full core run will be recovered within the split inner tube in this very difficult ground. The core box shows the achievement of the driller in recovering full core from every run in extremely fractured copper ore. Long Year Australia is proud of its contribution to CRA's ambitious program of mining development on Bougainville. <laughs>